I have decided to start growing a lot of strawberries in the hydroponic system. I have a lot of tomatoes still in here. There's some peppers back there but and some cucumbers. But I am going to get rid of my tomatoes and cucumbers once I get these uh, out of here. So there's just a few more tomatoes that are still growing. So I'm going to let them finish out. But then I'm going to start switching over to all strawberries. And what I found with the strawberries, it's really cool, is I've been able to propagate them pretty easily. So if you can see this, you when you buy strawberry seedlings online or something, they'll come with the root systems, usually in a bag of sand or something. So you rinse all the sand off and then you just put them in these net cups and you get them, put them down in to your uh, nutrient film system here, or this your hydroponic system. They're able to grow enough. I don't think they like it when they don't have their a place for their roots though, uh, like in the net cup itself. So they do start to shoot out runners everywhere. And what I do is I take these runners and I just, um, I'll, I'll take, let's grab this one right here. So where you have this part of the runner, um, this is the part that's going to grow into a new strawberry plant. So what you do is you take a piece of rock wool and you stuff it down into your net cup like this. And what I like to do before this is actually get this rock wool wet. And I just stick it underneath the, where the pump's coming out. So then the next step here is to take your um, your foam topper here and you kind of put it around. You don't want to harm the leaves or anything or the sprouts, but you want this part to be underneath the foam. And then you can stuff the foam top into the rock wool and it will touch on that rock wool. And what you do is you since there's no roots that are hanging down into the water that's running through the pipes, you do have to keep this rock wool wet. So what I typically do is I have like a uh, little measuring cup here that I use for my fertilizer and things. And I just kind of wet the, wet the rock wool just every couple days or so, keep it moist. And you can see this one's already shooting out roots. So these roots will start to get long enough that they'll be able to hang down into the water and I won't need to use this cup anymore. And I, I've experimented with the system and I, they all started out just like this and they're all doing really quite well. So you can kind of see their roots are coming through and yeah, it's, it's, it's been doing, doing really well. And they actually, the ones that are in the rock wool seem a lot healthier and more robust. Like the color's better. You don't have sort of this discoloring on the leaves, things like that on the ones that don't have the rock wool and just have the roots hanging down. And I know they're older plants and they're uh, not, not budding off the runners, but I think, I think there's something to be said about having a nice structure for those roots to take hold in. But what I really like about the runner approach is the main plant, the parent plant here, is able to provide nutrients to these, these new um, pioneer type uh, plants that are sprouting up off the runners. And I think that keeps them more robust um, when they're starting out and growing. So this seems to be a really good way of propagating strawberries. And I'm, I'm, what I'm gonna do is start filling up every cup I have and I'm just going to do as many I'm going to go all in on strawberries because I'm going to get all these tomatoes out of here and the peppers out of here and the cucumbers out of here and I'm going to go all strawberries and just see how it works and, and another reason for that is the pH balance for strawberries needs to be a little more acidic um, I believe than the other plants here and I, I don't think I got my 
I think I've been running too basic of a mi mixture for the tomatoes and the peppers, but I've just been really playing around with things and seeing how, how it little changes in the water and how you change like layouts and distance to light and things like that are affecting these plants. So this is all a big experiment for me, but this is promising so far to see all of these strawberry plants really taking hold. I mean, and they're multiplying now. So I'm going to keep taking every runner I have. And there's even one up here that's a runner off of a runner that's already taking shape. And um, I just started this one the other day. So they don't take long to get the roots in. But yeah, I, I found this interesting. I hope you do too. Thanks for following along here. And I will check back in and get a new video up once these strawberries get a little farther along. And I expect to take over this whole thing. And I think I've got about 80 or so holes in the system that I can set up. So maybe I can get 80 strawberry plants out of it. And hopefully I'll make a lot of strawberries. We'll see.